Yo, what is up, fellas? Check it out. Sneak peek, numero tres. And it's shaping up to be the Illuminati. I mean, we're three for three, right? We're, we're just hitting them out of the park, one after another. And it's also shaping up to be uh, the most expensive update. And we're going to talk about that in just a moment, if it is, in fact, the Illuminati. Also, prof so if, okay, Tony Stark, villain. Um, Reed Richards, the maker, villain. Professor X was, in fact, the villain as well at one point. And it kind of contradicts with some of the wording here, but we're going to get into that in just a moment. Let, let's talk about this real quick. Before leading mutant kind to Krakoa, their leader embraced his powers in a classic look. Revisit his famous attire with even more powerful mind control abilities. And then down here it says, Professor X is arriving with a look that our agents are familiar with. Well, you know, I guess depending on who you're talking to. So we know for sure it's Professor X. 100% is Professor X. So let's, uh, let's play that track. All right, and here we go. Let's, uh, let's play this. So we got the, uh, the X mansion there. Looks like it's all battered and busted. You got him coming in the, the, the hover chair and you see just a bunch of different X-Men there. It's like he's, you know, he's communicating with his mind to them. Let's uh here, let let's let's rewind and let's talk about who we actually see. I don't know I don't know if, if any of these characters are necessarily important. It's just, you know, I think this is just, you know, telling you who he's uh you know who who he's associated with. And we all know, right? So let's So we have Cyclops, Jubilee you know, I, I can't, you know, you can't, you know, you, you have his face kind of translucent there. Um, what are they trying to tell us with this? D does this actually mean anything? Well, so we have Gambit, right? We have Rogue with, um, so that's with her non-uniform, right? That's not her new uniform. We have Storm here and then Jean Grey with her. So Jean Grey has her uniform. Wolverine does not have his uniform, at least not his newest uniform. Right, he's got a look that that's like that. I'll have to go and check and see exactly what look that is. But, um, but yeah, all these characters are actually in the game. Yeah, right. Cyclops, he doesn't he doesn't have his uniform, so it's like they're picking and choosing what look they're actually giving these. Like Storm has her newest uniform on. I don't know. D does it actually mean anything? And then Jean Grey, she has her not her Marvel, not her um, is that, um her her X Men Red um, uniform on. So. And, and that's basically, I, th I think it's a pretty cool sneak peek, right? Wolverine comes busting through the wall there. And then you just got Professor X chilling in his hoverboard there. So let's, uh, let's jump into this because there's a lot to talk about here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just a sneaky bandit popping in here doing his thing. So one thing that I, I can't figure out, and I wonder if it's a clue to something, but okay, you see, here, let me get rid of this. That right there, right? You see how it's in the sneak peek right there? Looks like a gate or a door to something. And I, f I feel like I've just seen this, you know, just recently. And I tried searching it up. I couldn't find it. And I want to get this video out to you guys. So I don't want to hold it up anymore by me trying to, trying to figure out what that is. So guys, I want you in the comments to let me know what exactly that's from. Does it have affiliation with Krakoa, the X-Men, or, or something else entirely? All right, sneaky bandit out. All right, so guys, if, if we're following the, the trail of breadcrumbs that the devs are leaving, that each of these characters are going to become a villain, we don't know that for sure, but I'm just trying to, you know, put some, some you know, hypotheticals out there. Onslaught, well, Professor X is Onslaught. It, it's actually, Professor X takes Magneto's mind, puts it in his subconscious, and... Um, and then they, they kind of merge together. It's through Magneto's hate for, for humanity and then Professor X's frustration with humanity that their, their minds merge together and Onslaught is created. So if each of these characters are going to be a villain, um, I could totally see Professor X becoming Onslaught. I mean, that, that would be pretty crazy and that would be, <laughs> that would be awesome if we got Onslaught in the game. What? Um, but here, I'll, re I'll redo you, you know, what this says. So, uh, Onslaught is written as a sentient, uh, psionic entity created from the uh, consciousness of two mutants, Professor X and Magneto. During a battle between the X-Men and Magneto's acolytes, Professor X used his telepathic powers to shut down Magneto's mind, rendering him uh, catatonic. And it was explained through the Onslaught crossover series that 
the darkest aspect of Magneto's mind escaped into Xavier's subconscious where it merged with Xavier's own darker nature to eventually grow into a separate persona of its own, creating Onslaught. So, it might, yeah, like I said, it might be a stretch, but anything's possible. I wouldn't put anything past these sneaky devs at this point, right? All right, guys, so I know it may seem like a little bit of a stretch, but I think anything's possible and can't put anything past the devs, and I think it would be really cool to, to get Onslaught. All right, so we're going to briefly discuss how Onslaught came into existence. How, 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 did, how does Professor X become Onslaught? So, Mr. Magneto, he started causing all kinds of trouble on Earth, electrical, like, a, like a, uh, an electrical shortage across the globe, he ended up ripping all the adamantium out of Wolverine. And that I feel bad for the guy. That, that's got to be painful. Um, so after all that and, and just mass destruction across, across the earth, um, you have Professor X, Xavier. He takes Magneto's mind, puts it in his subconscious. And after, after a while, it's, um, because Magneto's just hate for humanity and professor x his frustration with humanity because he kept on losing mutants to 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 the hands of humans and all that festering created onslaught yes T yo, tell me he does not look like a character straight out of dragon ball z doesn't he <laughs> who does he look like tell me who you think he looks like there but that's onslaught that's professor x becoming onslaught and he looks pretty badass, if you ask me. And here's another shot of him uh, just towering over Jean Grey. And then here, he, here's one of his comics here. But um, like I said, I know it's a little bit of a stretch, but I think it's possible. If, if we're following the trail of breadcrumbs that they're leaving and they want to make Professor X a villain, right? If they, if they plan on making every single one of them a villain, maybe they're just reversing the role. So Namor becomes a hero, perhaps. I don't know what like what where is the connection like why are they why are they making Tony Stark and in Mr. Fantastic Reed Richards villains why are they turning them into villains is it just because or is there a grand scheme is there a reason and it will it all come together as we get more sneak peeks because we're getting the Illuminati right we're three for three and I would imagine it's going to continue moving in this direction so, if he's not going to become Onslaught, let's talk about the the other looks that he could possibly get. The wheelchair looks. Is it working? Is it working? Can you, can you feel it? No? No? Okay. I thought I, I'd try. I just don't got to like you, Professor X. So, he's he has many he has many looks. Well, there's a, there's actually a, a, a few, but it, it appears if if you look at the at the sneak peek behind the curtain, if he is getting the wheelchair and he's not getting onslaught, um, it's going to be something like this. So when you search it up, he's got yeah he's got the iconic right the 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 gold hover hovering chair here just like this right he's got the blanket on him like that all nice and cozy snug as a bug in a rug. Um, so yeah, you see something like that. No, oh, I'm falling and I can't get up. Guys, come on. It's it's not funny. It's not funny to laugh at somebody who's just fallen out of their wheelchair. All, you know, decrepit like that. Come on, grow up. Grow up. He could get the silver one. Guys, he could get the silver one. That, that would be pretty cool. I mean, honestly, you don't see the silver one often. You, you don't. I didn't see many of the silver. That's for sure. You did see this though, so he's got like you know your traditional style wheelchair, right? He's got got the X's on the wheels there like that. Um, that one would be pretty badass. I wouldn't be opposed to having that. And then maybe he actually gets the one that you can assemble. And, you know, it's got the different parts and you could put it together and whatnot, like the snap on, so he could swap from the regular the regular you know traditional style wheelchair, and then you just snap on the you know the the hoverboard. And then it even has the piece that, that that propels him in the air like that. That'd be pretty nice. And twinsies, he's twinning over here, guys. Look at him. He's got he's got a buddy. And one wheelchair is darker than the other. You see how much darker that one is? Yeah, what's what's going on there? I mean that that's there's something to be said about that, guys. Got him. Got him. 
you will subscribe and like the video. Alright, so now that we got all, all the all the fun stuff out of the way, I want to know if you if you guys think that um, the characters in the sneak peek, right? Rogue, Gambit, uh, Cyclops, Storm, Jean Grey, and Jubilee, if they have any affiliation with what's going on here. Me personally, I, I think they don't. I think they were just they were just put there to to make the sneak peek look better, right? To show his affiliation with the X-Men. I don't think there's really any rhyme or reason to that. But let's talk about, you know, how this update, you know, depending on how far along your account is, you know, which, which of these characters you actually have, this could be, you know, a very expensive update. I mean, okay, so if you don't have Doctor Strange or Mr. Fantastic, right, you got to complete the epic quest to get them. I feel like a lot of people who kind of jumped on board, you know, not too long ago might not have Mr. Fantastic, at least not at Tier 3. Um, and... Professor Rex, now you can farm his bios from the Danger Room, right? I have 14 of his bios just from playing just from playing Danger Room. Um, so if you don't have enough of his bios to unlock them, I suggest you start playing Danger Room. Um, at least, you know, just get your five, five clears per day, right? Um, and thing is this though, how are you going to upgrade his uniform? Because it is a uniform for him. Um, you're gonna have to use tickets. You're gonna have to use tickets. That's the only way you're gonna. You're, there's no way you're gonna farm <laughs> enough bios to upgrade this man's uniform. Um, at least not. It's gonna take you forever if that's the route you're gonna take. So you're gonna need. You are going to need an upgrade ticket. Um, you know, uh, mega uniform upgrade, six star mega uniform upgrade ticket. Um, and those in the store, they they are, they're forty bucks right well for for me anyways 40 us dollars you need one of those bad boys or if you if somehow you have the individual tickets sure you, you could you could do that but you know the uniform for native tier twos are expensive so we're getting one for this guy if 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 it continues to go the way that we think it's going to right the rest of illuminati is going to get released we're going to get one for this guy namor another paywall so you could either buy right you could spend ten dollars on the x-men bio sub or however much it is in your currency um or you could use another upgrade ticket you can't use upgrade tickets on on you know either of these two mr fantastic or dr strange but namor and professor x those are going to be those are going to be biggies um i'm not obviously not too concerned about black bolt or iron man um so it, it's it's shaping up to be an expensive update that that's for sure right just because of namor and in professor x well professor x mostly because you you're not gonna you can't get his bios anywhere it's danger room but i played it pretty much every day right my five clears and i have 14 of his bios there's no way that you're gonna farm enough of his bios to upgrade that uniform at least a mythic so i mean sure you can get the uniform and not upgrade it but you know where's the fun in that so guys, I want to know what you think. I want to know. I want to know what you think on a couple different things. Um, first off, on on the characters, right? Rogue, Jubilee, Gambit, you know, Jean Grey, etc. Um, in the sneak peek, if you think that actually means anything, or um, and if you think that onslaught for, for Professor X is actually could could be a thing. If that could actually be a thing, I'm 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 really <laughs> interested to see how this actually plays out and i you know what? i think we'll have a, a clear picture once the next sneak peek hits and if the next sneak peek is say turning dr strange into a villain or if it seems that way right or um or you know if it's keeping namor a villain or maybe it's going to change him back to a hero you know I, I don't know it's all up in the air right now it would be it would make more sense if like they were all heroes right but you know the fact they changed two to villains and then not really sure what's going on with professor x it doesn't say that he's a villain but you know i'm still holding hope for onslaught so i want to know what you guys think on that so let me know let me know so stay tuned you stay breezy but most of all friend you stay safe out there now peace